All right, here we go, you guys. Exciting times, man. A lot of swordfish being caught right now. We're in no current. We got very little current out here. Perfect time to do a deploy of slow current sword fishing. We're going to actually show you our method. Everybody's got their own. To deploy two rods. One, we're going to deploy a rod tip, one that goes right off the rod with no buoy. But first, we're going to put out a buoy, and we're going to try to take you through that. So we're going to put a buoy out. We're going to fish a rod tip. We're in slow current. What that means is anything under a knot and a half, one knot. Guys around the world in places have no current, zero current. All they have is a little bit of wind like you're seeing here. We have these conditions today, so we're going to fish this style. And this is the style I fish in Texas, Dominican Republic, Ocean City, Maryland, uh, Mexico. I've been to a lot of different locations and had this exact scenario. I fished with Paco Vela down in Puerto Rico. We caught one of the biggest fish ever caught there. Um, had some really good success. You guys who have these type of conditions with no current, you should love it. You're lucky. Okay, because down here in Florida, we don't get that. It's difficult. It's probably one of the most difficult places in the world to fish. So when we get these kind of conditions, man, it's a treat. So slow conditions for current, little bit of wind. Going back through the other films, swordfish films, especially with the slow current ones that we've put out prior to this, understanding that the location and the spot that we want to fish maybe a half a mile in front of us, a quarter of a mile. I might have a crater right out in front of this boat that I know the swords are going to stack up at.